As a subculture scholar, what really fascinates me is trying to decode some of the language. Unlike any subculture, the incels have their own vernacular. So what I've done is I've gone into some of these incel forums that are online, since this is the space in which most of these guys congregate. And there's ongoing conversations every single day with people all over the world. And a lot of incels are really obsessed with their looks. And I think it's kind of gives us a nice window into the rejection and the depression that some of the incels are really feeling. I think all men deep down are really pissed off by women. Wish you all were dead. And they adopt this sort of fatalistic attitude that they are not genetically, genetically made in an attractive way for women and therefore are doomed to never find uh, intimacy with a woman. So the incels really focus on the Chads and the Stacys. The Chads are the high status males who from the incels point of view are successful, are uh, having sex with lots of women to whom life comes really easily. The Stacys are the shallow, self-obsessed women who only care about the looks of the chads and therefore spurn you know, any advances or attempts made by the incels. These are the stereotypical, attractive women who show disdain for any man that doesn't meet their standards. They see what they call the chads, the high status, attractive guys, as, as sort of a mirror that's reflecting back their their ugliness, as they put it. No, get down. Get down. Some of these mass shooters, Alec Manassian, um, Dylan Roof, others, they will come up and they're sometimes valorized as heroes. You'll even get some shorthand, sort of almost memes going on, like, I'm about to go Manassian, or something like that. Some of them would say, well, that's just venting. But there is a bit of, of uh, venerating some of these, these mass killers. So incels have adopted the notion of taking the blue or the red pill from the science fiction film, The Matrix. The incels feel so fatalistic about their position, they suggest that they've taken the black pill. In other words, they can see the world for what it is, but there is no hope for escape. There is no opportunity that comes from the enlightenment for being able to see the world for what it is. And of course, the world for what it is is this fatalistic notion that through a genetic trick, they are not as attractive, don't have as strong a jawline as certain alpha males, the chads as they call them, and therefore are doomed to a life of loneliness and neglect.